Back in St. Paul, the final group out there warming up right now. And the gold medal on the line, very close at the top. Chalk and Bates, they're the favorites. They're the champs, but less than a point separating them. And Maya and Alex Shibatani, and then it's Hubble and Donahue, last year's bronze medalist, rounding out the top three. Check out the skate order. Hawaii and Baker, one of those young teams that a lot of people have high hopes for. Canusio and McManus, Chalk and Bates, then Shibatani's back to back, and then Hubble and Donahue to round out the five in this final group. A lot of history skating wise in this building, including in 2008. You recognize them. Tanith Belbin at the time, now Tanith White. Van Augusta, one of their five U.S. championships, and then honored yesterday the U.S. Figure Skating Hall of Fame. Charlie White, her husband also out there, happens to be an Olympic champ, so we welcome her in right now. Tanith White now married to Charlie, and um, uh, thrilled to have you along. Memories from 2008 out here. Congratulations on yesterday. Oh, thank you very much. It was a really special time here in St. Paul. I'm, I'm ready to have some more. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> All right, look ahead now to what we're about to see, and you got to start with Chalk and Bates, who are not only the reigning U.S. champs, but one of the top teams in the world. Absolutely, and they've really started to earn their titles in being so great about pushing through these tougher times, and that's exactly what they've had to face this season with the challenges of having to change their programs repeatedly to try and get their best product so that they can have their best shot at standing on top of the world podium. And Terry, when I spoke with them, they said that is their goal this season, is to be in first place in Boston come March. Look, it is the golden age of America and ice dancing you're a big part of that and what you did and what you did at the Olympics and then Merrill Davis and Charlie White Olympic champs so if you are the best in America you are competitive for a gold medal on the world stage they certainly are as are the brother sister team Maya and Alex Shibatani and it was so close in that short dance I mean they were terrific they really were, and they have been doing so well with this free dance this season. The audience is connecting to it emotionally, but more importantly, Terry, they are connected to the products that they're putting out. And when I spoke with Alex before this event, he said, even if you don't know us and you don't know our story, we hope that you can still see how genuinely we feel this music and how much we relate to it. So a journey for them, but this program is something special. Could it be? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to give them their best shot possible this <laughs> season that they've ever had to stand atop the U.S. podium. They've been so close so often. Five straight years meddling but can't get to the top. And you've got to go then to the team in third, the team that was third last year, Hubble and Donahue. And okay. they have made such great strides artistically and technically under their new coaches. So we'll look forward to seeing what they can bring forward here at the U.S. Championship. So the top three, you got five in all in this final group. But Madison Chalk, Evan Bates, clearly the the team to beat and they'll be out there skating that final group for the gold medal next.